um, already having activity. I can feel that somebody is standing there in front of me and we are facing the, um, the old stalls, which ironically there are, there's a one big huge one there on the end, which the door is closed on and I am not opening today. And then this one here where the light turned on, which I've been told several times there's an Indian buried here, um, which, you know, they don't, thank you. Um, they don't know what Native American means. And then there's a female named Rachel, a gentleman right here, which I don't know his name. And then on the other side over here of the ladder, there's a stall that you can access from outside. And there's a gentleman named Chris. Um, they all have verified numerous times that they are from the 17. There we go. Hi, Chris. Chris is extremely active. Um, that they're from the 1700s era and that they passed away here on this land because they were fighting and they were buried here. And then a hundred years, however much later, or, you know, in the 1850s, this barn was built over top of their graves, whether the people knew it or not back then, it wasn't really unheard of whatsoever for that type of thing to occur. Okay. I'm getting creeped out. <laughs> Oops. All right, I'm going to turn on the box to see who we have. I know that Chris is here, and I'm also wondering about the um, the Indian gentleman. Hello, who's with me? Wow. There's also a ball over here, too. I I'm wondering... Are you buried in c coffins? Did you say yes? I was that a car come by? Can you please give me a sign? Thank you. So we also verified that there are bodies under this barn with cadaver dogs. So this isn't just you know, results that I've picked up. Yeah, who is that? Can you please say your name? I'm here to communicate again. Thank you. For, wow. Thank you for doing the light. I'm, I'm getting like heebie-jeebies. <laughs> and I shouldn't be. Thank you. I thought there's two gentlemen in the big stall. And then the Indian, and then another gentleman, plus Rachel and Chris. Is that correct? Turn the light off, please, or say yes. To confirm. Sorry, I heard yes. Wow. You can speak into the box. I hear you. I hear you really well. How many spirits are here right now? I heard three. Oh my gosh, my cat just scared me. Whew. Okay, why am I on edge? You all need to stop making me feel on edge, right? Only good spirits are welcome here. There must be a bad spirit lingering in this barn. Is that true? Turn the light on for yes or say yes. Okay. Well, that's explaining why I'm getting the heebie-jeebies. Who's the bad spirit? Do you have a name? So you're definitely not <laughs> welcome here. Yeah, well, you're not going to harm me because I'm protected. So you can go take a hike. I'm here only to communicate with the good spirits. That's my dog whining in the background. Do you understand that? Yeah, I'm here to visit. Out of respect. So. Hey. 
All right, now who's speaking? Can you please tell me your name? Was that Chris? You need to turn off the light for yes? That was me, sorry. I think I heard you. I would love to know the names of everyone who's buried here. I think I have about half. Well, it's bizarre because it's the same thing with the uh, slaves up on the hill. I only have half of their names. 